Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. All right, man, continuing on with the NBA extravaganza, man. We got to talk about midseason MVP, man. Who you got right now? If you gave out the award today, who, who would be your guy? MVPs, um, there's only two guys. I mean, there's a, there's, there's a third guy just because I personally like Paul George, and he's had a hell of a year. Right. I mean, there's only two guys that we need to be talking about for MVP this year. James Harden, and if the Bucks stay on the, the pace that they're on, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. All right. Um, I'm going with the Greek freak because I'm a guy that just likes to, to see guys dominate on both ends of the court. Mm -hmm. And he does that. Um, he is clearly the best player in the East now, mm -hmm. uh, with LeBron being over in the West. And the way he has elevated his game this year, um, even if the numbers aren't, aren't drastically different, you can tell how he's taking over games now. Uh, the way that he takes over games in the, in the late moments, the way that he doesn't mind taking all of the load and putting it on his shoulder to do, play point guard. You know what I mean? He guards the best perimeter player. He will guard if the, if the post player is the most dominant player that night on the other team, he'll take up that job too. So um, for my for my money, it's it's, it's it's Giannis. Not to not to sleep on what, what James Harden is doing. Mm -hmm. Man, 40 points a night, you know, 30 points here and there. Um, James is James the real deal. It's the reason why he won it last year, but this year, in my opinion, Giannis is the MVP. What about you? Oh man. This is tough for me. You know my young is gonna hit me about it because I'm always talking about defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always yeah, stressing yeah. defense, defense, <laughs> defense. But whenever I, you know, a butt comes. But it's just somebody that runs giant hands. It's incredible. Not just the points, the fact that it was needed. Yeah. That it, it with, with Chris out, you had Capella out, you had Gordon out. Shit, yeah, me, you and a couple other cats out there with him, man, hooping. And if he didn't put up those numbers, they were taking L's. Yeah. And they were struggling at first. Remember, everybody was up in arms about the moves that had been made by the GM. Yeah. And that a reason ago, you let, uh, who the other cat they let go? Another defensive guy that let him go. Yeah. A lot of folks were up in the, uh, the, the Carmelo debacle. Yeah, yeah. Folks were like, man, what the hell y'all doing? And then he went on that run. He still don't have Clint Capella, by the way. So I, I hear it. Listen, and this is this is the ultimate respect that I have for James Harden. I think James Harden plays zero defense. All right, and I'm I'm also a defensive guy. Right. In the NBA today, and we all know playing the NBA, Steph Curry, uh, uh, no defense, Kevin Durant, uh, Paul George, all of these guys, with the game on the line. I want James Harden to have the ball. Okay. I think Big statement. Because I think he will just go and get a bucket. We've seen that. We've he's, seen that. He's the go get a bucket dude. But I really, I, when I think MVP, um, I just think if you take a dude off the team, what do they do? Now, in taking James Harden off the team, you got the Rockets, well, not the Rockets anymore, no doubt. But if you take Giannis off the Bucks, they just some deer, man, hanging out in, in, in North America. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, for real. Like, we don't know who they are. James Middleton does, James, Chris Middleton does not make the NBA All-Star game if Giannis don't play for that. I'm team. with you on that. I'm with you on that. Yeah. This, this is so tough. Because the East, at the top of the East, is way more competitive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. than it's been mm -hmm. maybe a decade. Absolutely. So, them boys being at the top of the East, that stupid impression. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad if it go to either one of them. I can't lie about that. I can't be mad about that. I mean, uh, this is what Giannis is doing this year. Okay. 27 points. Okay. 12.7 rebounds. Okay. Six assists. That's that's the thing for me. That boy getting six assists this year? Six assists and a steal and a half and a block and a half. So he is, I'm, I'm serious. He, you know, most guys, and listen. I'm not a guy that's overly, the older I get, the less and less I become impressed with just per game stats. Yeah, right, right, right. Right? So, I, I pull this up, both of us on basketballreference.com. Mm -hmm. I'm going down to the per 36 minutes. Because in the grand scheme of things, that's the, that's the one for me. Per 100 possessions is good for team stats, if you want to go that route. When we talking about just straight up per 36 minute stats. All right. This is what Giannis does. I'm gonna do the same thing for James Harden. I'll, I'll let you do the one for James Harden. All right. 
per 36 minutes. And, and who knows? Maybe maybe my idea will change of, of who it is. But we're talking 36 minutes. Mm-hmm. Giannis Antetokounmpo does 29 and a half points. Right. 14 rebounds, 13.8 rebounds, six and a half assists, damn near two blocks, and a steal and a half. All right. James, per 36 minutes, you got 35 points per game. Well, per 36, mm-hmm. per 36 mm-hmm. minutes. Mm-hmm. He giving you seven assists. Yep. He giving you six boards. They telling me giving you two steals. Yeah. Now, that still can be misleading. Steals you can get in passing lane. Still's a different. Still's a different. He might not be playing on ball. Yeah. Still, I know. I know James defense ain't as good as Young. Yeah. It's just that again during that run, I just feel like if he's not there, yeah. forget it. If he's there, he averaging twenty five. They mean. Yeah, no, that twenty five is tough. The the. But if he ain't doing what he did, averaging. 40, yeah. 35, whatever the hell. They needed every point. Needed every point. They and and every that's point. just in the name of the. I think Giannis is a better player. Yeah. I agree. I would agree. But in terms of value, yeah. had to be there, had to get it done. I got to respect that. Because that takes a lot of. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That takes a lot of energy to go out every yeah. single yeah. night yeah. and drive and have the ball in your hands the entire time, make yeah. every play for your team. James is unbelievable, man. I mean, we talking about, you know, they talking about what he averaging right now as far as points per game. And they haven't seen this since Jordan. Folks, sleep on that too. James averaging 36.6 right now and everybody, uh, Mike averaged 37. 37. When you can still touch somebody. Yeah. Let's not forget that. But that's neither here nor that. Yeah. You just want to put that out there now. You, you blow on James Harden and he going to the line. People used to knock Mike out the air, and it was like I'm beating his ass. Mike, we, I mean, that's basketball. That's basketball, but no going on in the eighth. But I wouldn't be mad, man. Either the, way, the league is in a great yeah, place. Either way, man. Cause these guys, they hooping. Got to shout out Paul George as yeah, well, man. Cause yeah. what he doing on both nah, ends of the floor is incredible. I hope he keep it going in the playoffs. I do, I do man. Paul, Paul George is an amazing player with a unique skill set. And um, the thing I like about Paul George is like, you see his game, something new in his game develop every year. That's the true uh, measurement, in my opinion, of a dude that's like taking that game to the next level, is every year you see them add a new piece. Yeah, he hooping, dog. Yeah, he hooping, man, he hooping. That, that man. He's the, he's the reason that they're in the third spot. Russell Westbrook has been there, and they've been high, and they've been low. And Russ still averaging a triple-double, man. Nice, man. I ain't put him in the MVP, no, but no. again, I did it last, previously. The man is averaging a triple-double for the third straight year. Now, he'll, he'll rebound and stat, I said it before. That's inflated. Real folks, if you know the game, go look at the rebounds. You ain't really got a box out of them you ain't got to do much. Yeah. But that man plays hard. And he going to get boy, he's setting folks up. Yeah. So I got to respect that. But that boy PG Hooper too, though. You know, watching Russ play in person, like I did last night. I mean, I've seen him play a couple of times now, but watching him play last night again, um, watching the guy add different things to his game. But I don't know if there's another superstar. And you know what I mean by that? Like those top look that plays as hard as Russell Westbrook. Diving on the floor. Taking every possession personal. And that's what I was saying earlier about from yeah. a working man's perspective. Yeah. I don't think it's many working men, guys who go out there grinding and get it for their family every day, mm-hmm. that don't respect Russell Westbrook. You have to. Because that man going out there doing, like you said, he ain't taking no days yeah. off. Yeah. It's what folks like about Brett Favre. Yeah. It's what folks like about baseball. They like Cal Ripken Jr. He wasn't better than all the guys, yeah. but he was coming to work every day. Work you know hard too, man. Work hard. I mean, just, just the fact that he was out there. Um, I mean, he finished with 44 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists. Cause Paul Joy had an off night. And he he ain't just no hard work. That motherfucker hoop too. Yeah, hoop, man. <laughs> hoop and hoop. But the way that he attacks on both ends of the floor, every possession. He still kind of crazy too. Yeah, he, he's unstable. Mm-hmm. And, and he's unstable. But again, I always say the great ones have to be a little unstable. Yeah, that they do. They have to live it. They they live in a different space than the, than the other players. That's what makes them great. The maniacal attitude. Um, so, I mean, he 
Anybody who averages a triple double should always be in a conversation. You know, I do think those rebound stats are in, rebound stats are inflated, um, but it's still a triple double, man. You go and play a basket, you can play a, a game of three on three. Ain't nobody else doing it. Ain't nobody else doing it. That's all. He's the only guy. You you know when something is great when only one person can do it. You don't want to do it for three straight years. Yeah. You don't want to. Do it. Yeah, greatness is when you growing up in the hood and and they, the, there's one dude in the hood that can dunk. Man, because right. nobody else do it. Nobody else is averaging a triple double. Even when everybody's saying, "Oh man, is, is the triple double?" You know, is that a stat? Show me somebody else is doing. It. LeBron has yet to do it. He's the greatest player of this generation. Shout out, man! Shout out! Shout out, that man! Shout out to all these boys. Yeah, man. Man. I'm, I'm gonna go with James for the MVP. You going with Giannis? I'm gonna go with the Greek freak. Man. You can't go wrong with either one. Yep.